Real hot. All right, let's pull then. Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. Mama is, <clears throat> well, she's just getting ready to start getting ready for the, uh, for Christmas dinner. And uh, what's her, she wanted, she's, she's, she's in the middle right now. <laughs> I'm ready. She's like, let's go, let's get this. <clears throat> My coffee's too hot. Look at that, just come off the stove. Good, perked coffee. Mama, I'm going to let you go ahead before you fly away. Okay, I'm just going to make some biscuit bread or biscuit palm bread, as we call it. And I'll uh, put just a little over a cup of flour in here. And then I'm going to put some of this Crisco, butter flavored Crisco. How much, Mama? Uh, about a little bit in here. A tablespoon of Crisco, butter flavored. Is, we like the. Crisco. You can buy it in a can. We get it in a um, in the little packets. And Mama's gonna make this in a loaf or in a just a pan. We call it pone bread. It's cornbread made into a. No, a, it's not cornbread. I mean, sorry, it's biscuit bread. I hear a phone ringing, Mama. Oh, well. we disconnected. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mama's always got her phone real handy in another room on another table where it can't be answered. Well, I'll get it in a minute. Now the big phone's ringing. Well, I guess I'll get it now. Mama, it's probably going to check on your car insurance. Might be your sister car. Okay, let's talk. So Mama and I sit down this morning and we made our Christmas to-do list. You all do a to-do list. We have no choice but to do a to-do list. So we have got our menu out here. And uh, we're going to have ham and turkey and dressing. We Dressing, what's the difference between dressing and stuffing? Stuffing is what you put inside the turkey, and dressing is what you serve with it as a side. So she's getting ready to do dressing, and what she's going to make is biscuit bread, and we'll put it in a pan, um, probably a 9 by 9 or pan or something, or maybe even an iron skillet. Sometimes she does it that way. And she will mix that in with her cornbread that she'll make. And that will make the bulk of the dressing. That's for me. She's outside. I don't know if we're in here. So, of course, we're in here. Okay, now I'm back. I've got the butter mixed up in here. And all I'm going to do now is take my buttermilk. And I don't measure nothing. Well, I'm going to tell y'all, that was about a cup, maybe a little bit more. You really you can't get an exact measurement. You can't get too caught up with the exact measurement because um, it depends on how much you're making. It depends on how the weather has a lot to do with it. But this is basically the way you make biscuits. It's just the uh, white lily self-rising flour. And uh, she put a cup. And this was the cup she used. It wasn't an actual like a Tupperware measuring cup. It was this coffee cup. It's been in her flour for years and years. She put one and a little bit of that. A little bit. So it was probably a cup and a quarter. Now she see she's had more buttermilk already. So she probably used a cup and a quarter of buttermilk as well. Uh, I'm just making it thinner so I can pour Let's it. Let's pull you up here where you can see Mama. Hi from New York, Anna Marie. Oh, I love your name, Anna Marie. Make it just a higher thinner. You just kind of judge it. So see, she's just going as she goes with a cup and a little bit of of. Uh, you want it to pour out there like right. cornbread and stuff. That's the difference between pound bread, pound meaning uh, biscuit pound bread, or biscuits. You never would want this thin for biscuits. You would want it uh, much thicker, so you could roll it out and cut it out. But this is the way you do it if you're going to pour it up okay, in. Okay, and I've got my hot pan. Now, see, I knew Mama was going to use this little nine by nine because she's used it for years for this. Mama, are you sure that's enough? What? In that, in that uh, bowl. Well, it should be. See, it's already hot. That grease. See how it's already frying. Should be. Could be. But would it be, Mama? Oh, yeah. We'll say it will be. <laughs> <laughs> so all she put in here was a little over a cup of white lily, self-rising flour, 
a tablespoon of Crisco, butter flavor Crisco, and then she put about a cup and a half, time she got through adding, of buttermilk, and it made it runnier, and now she'll put that in the oven and uh, bake it up, and uh, we'll be ready to go with some good okay. biscuit pound bread. Now sometimes we use this pound bread, sorry, didn't need to walk y'all over the place. Sometimes we use this pound bread just for supper. We will just, um, mama mix it up right quick, put it in the oven. You don't want to fill with making biscuits. You're going to use pis biscuit pound bread for yeah. supper, and it's good. You just break it off like you do cornbread. And now, now I'm going to make, this is the biscuit bread, the same bowl. It's dirty, but it's just going to have cornbread in it. Uh, I'm putting a well, it ain't cut. dirty, mama. Just use. Ooh, I didn't mean well, that. You've, you've got the steaming going. I got the puffing of the cornmeal. And you put I, two cups of cornmeal. Well, a cup and a half. A cup and a half. And she's going to put a. About a half a cup of flour. A half a cup of white leather self rising flour. The cornmeal mix is. Um, Three rivers. Three rivers this time. We got that at our store. It's cornmeal mix. Uh, you can get different kinds, different brands. Uh, we use White Lily. We use Three Rivers. Uh, Hand me an egg. I don't think I can reach it. Here's your one egg. Yeah, one egg. Here's one egg. <laughs> well, hello, Miss Bernice. There's Mama's sister and my aunt and uncle, John and Bernice. Maggie's welcoming them. Oh, you know, I didn't taste that egg. I, I, I know, Mama. I was proud of you for taking the confidence in the eggs. I was just so... Uh, you was distracted. Yeah. But it tasted good, didn't it? Yeah, it looked good in the shell. You hardly ever ran into a bad egg. And she's going to mix this up. And get it in the skillet. And we'll have uh, cornbread. Did y'all have a good trip? Yeah, we did. Good, good. Okay, I'll put them in. What is that? Some rose? rose. You want to come over and say hello, Miss Bernays? No, she's just camera shy. <laughs> John. John, you want to come over and say hello? My aunt yeah. uncle's come in. I'm getting ready to start cooking. Her mama will be in here cooking and slinging pots and pans. And so what do you got going on there now, Mama? I'll just mix my cornbread up. Corn meal. Eggs and flour. Eggs and flour is all you got in there so far. Buttermilk. And buttermilk. Of course, buttermilk. You doing one or two? I'm going to do two. So Mama's getting those cast iron skillets out. They are good and hot. The grease is hot. Mmm. I can tell that one's ready to go, Mama. Ugh. Ooh, it's hot. I feel the heat. <laughs> can y'all see? It's, you hear that beautiful sound? That's the sound of browned cornbread. And that's going to brown and make a nice crust on the outside of it. Now, for this purpose, <clears throat> since we're not eating this just as cornbread, you don't want to leave it in there until it gets too brown. You want to just a light golden brown will be fine. And, uh... You want it to be more uh, moist and not as much crunch because she's going to put it in her dressing. Now, Mom, what are you going to do? Make up another bowl? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's going to start all over with that whole process. So if you missed anything, you can see the repeat right here. How often do you get to see a repeat in one? I'm going to get you a bowl where, you can, where they can see it. A cup and a half. A cup and a half of cornmeal. And another, what, half cup? Yeah, half cup of flour. This is kind of like our fancy cornbread where we put flour in it so it'll rise a little egg bit more. Please. And here's an egg, Mama. You want to test it? I'm going to test it in the hole. Oh, okay. like I taught you. Look at that. She wouldn't admit to it, but I taught her that. Right, Mama? Mm hmm. And it looks good, don't it? It sure does. All right. She'll get this mixed up, get this put in there, and then we'll start. Mixing up the dressing. When you make dressing, you shake that and open that. Out. Okay. When you make dressing the way we make dressing, <clears throat> we don't put raw eggs in ours. Now we put eggs in the cornmeal and we put eggs in the biscuits, but we don't put raw eggs in ours or anything raw. So everything in ours is cooked. 
Uh, as soon as we stir it up, we'll taste of it because it's all cooked and ready to You're go. You're going to like it. That's uh, it. Ted would say, why do y'all mess that up by cooking it? Let me see in there. So I'm going to put about a cup in there to start with. I think you need to shake it again because this is funny. I didn't shake it good enough for Mama. Well, no, it's too full when you first open it. Okay. You feel better about it? Yeah. All right, You'll so here goes. Different. You'll uh, see the difference. See? About a half cup. No more. About a half cup total? No more. Oh, you said no more. <laughs> Let me How about no more now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was separated in my mind. In your mind. Ooh. What? I just splattered buttermilk out of her. Oh, Mama, buttermilk's good for your skin. You'll have pretty fresh skin. Not for my vest. You should put an apron on. Mama said, I said, you going to put your apron on, Mama? She said, he'll cover up my sweater. Okay. I said, that's what an apron does. Give him yeah, just a tad more. Tad. Mama, tad. Let's see. Let's, folks, let's see what a tad is. That's pretty good. Is that a tad? That's a tad. <laughs> so about a cup and a tad of butter. <laughs> you want it to be the right Sandy consistent. Is listening at you making fun of me. Okay, let's look at this tad of cornbread. So here's what you're looking for. You're not really worried about the exact measurements as much as you are what it looks like. You're cooking by your eyes now. You want it to be like that. You want it to come off in thick ribbons. You don't want it to be clumpy. You don't want any lumps in it. You want it to come off like that. You don't want it to be so soupy that you can't, you know, pour it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mama's strict. Now, let me tell y'all. Y'all think Mama's sweet. Oh, Mama's so she sweet. Is. Wait till you get you're trying to cook with her. Now, that one didn't sizzle, Mama. Because I set it out. Uh, she's strict in the kitchen. Y'all know that. Y'all know how Mama is. She's strict. You have to walk the line, don't you, Mama? Mm -hmm, yes. That's exactly right. Now, what happens next is she's going to put this in the oven probably for about 25 minutes. Because, like I said, you don't want it that hard brown like you might if you're going to eat it as cornbread. You just want it to be a nice soft of the inside of it. Uh, you want to get that nice, uh, wonderful cornbread insides so you can have it for um, your dressing. And what we'll do with this, now, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying our way is the right way. I'm just going to tell you the difference. A lot of people want stale cornbread or day-old cornbread. I have a friend... <laughs> I have a friend who don't think she can make a dressing unless she's got a week or two's worth of cornbread in a brown paper bag. That's why they used to do it. I have a theory on that. I don't know if it's right or not. I think they just saved it up for that long so they wouldn't waste it. And so they would uh, put it in the brown paper bags so that they would have it. And um, so she says, oh, it's too late to start cornbread. I should have started a week ago. We make ours immediately. We cook it. We put it in in the in it immediately, and we don't let it get stale. We keep it good and moist because I don't know if they like the crunch of it or what. But is if you are doing the if you bake it in the oven or you uh, let it get stale, when you rehydrate it, it rehydrates. So we always just we just do it that way and do it to start with, and. Um, We've always done it that way, and it always turns out pretty good. So uh, we enjoy that, don't we, Mama? Yeah. So it's different people to fix it different ways. I've seen all kinds of different ways, and none of them's wrong. They're just all different. Let's see who's on here right quick. Let's do it. See, see. Hello, Rhonda Rose. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Hey, Christy Reed. Hello from Dallas, Texas. Wow. We like, we've been to Dallas. Hey, Charlene. Is it... Cromier and Darla Bannon. Merry Christmas. Good morning. Um, folks, since we popped on live, we're going to go ahead and let this bake for about 25, 30 minutes. And I guess today, just for the, just for organization, we'll probably have to pop on live a couple of times because we don't want to leave you on here for 30 minutes waiting for that cornbread to fix. But what we'll do is we will let this bake for, when are you going to do anything else you want to do for how the I cornbread's baking? I don't know. Do you know why the cornbread's baking? I don't know right yet. I started telling you our to-do list. 
So this is what we're planning on having on the menu. We're gonna have ham and turkey and dressing, and that's this is the beginnings of the dressing. This is this bread's not for eating; it's for mixing up and dressing. We're gonna have the red cinnamon apples, and I'm gonna start peeling some apples because we have some apples. I'm gonna do fresh apples, uh, and I'm gonna put the cinnamon and pearls in them. And then we're gonna do uh, peanut green beans as we normally do. We're gonna have pineapple casseroles. We've made that not long ago, but some of y'all may be uh, new on here, not seen the pineapple casserole. Uh, we're gonna do coleslaw and corn, carrots somewhat. I don't know how we'll do them. Mama, how are you gonna do them? You're gonna glaze them with brown sugar. You're gonna do them brown sugar and maple? I know, probably just butter. Butter sure. carrots, okay. And we're gonna do some deviled or stuffed eggs, however you wanna call them. And we've got some frozen Mrs. Schubert's. Yeah, Rose. Can't go wrong with the Mr. Schubert's rolls. And then we're going to have broccoli casserole, sweet potato casserole, and Italian cream cake. My aunt made that. So, uh, and if I get to it, I'm going to make a fruit cake. And Mama says if she gets to it, she's going to make a fruit cake. Mama's going to get to it. I don't know. Come over here, Mama. They can't see you. Watch your no. pace. Watch your pace. Just back I'm and, working. Back and forth. Back and forth. I'm going to have to uh, nail her to the floor. Uh, what kind of fruit cake are you going to make, Mama? What, uh, it's just a candy fruit cake. It's candied fruit. Yeah, old, old, old cake, fruit cake I always make. Okay. With the candy cherries and pineapples and pecans. And okay. All eggs, right. Five eggs. And mm. so. so if y'all want to make fruit cake with Mama, are you going to make it today? I'm going to try to. If you want to make fruit cake with Mama, you want to go to the store, grab you some of that old-fashioned things of candied fruit that you can get at the store. You can around here. I don't know if you can where you're from, but you can here. We get the candied fruit. And, uh, oh, I did it and show them. Show them, Mama. Um, and she, someone asked the other day, in fact, more than one person asked the other day about fruitcake. Does Mama make fruitcake? Well, she does. And uh, here's the candied fruit. And I it's... It's called for a one of these are the red and green, but they just had the small green. This is red cherries, sweetened in a real fruit, and this is what you use. This is the, and you can get any brand, it's just candied fruit. And this, and this is, is the cherries, the and green. this is cherries, and they're green. The pineapple. And uh, they're the green cherries, and you put the red and green. And then here is the pineapple. You don't use a can with the cake, just holiday fruit recipe, and here is the pineapple. Uh, and it's the candied fruit. So this is what you need for Mama's fruit cake. Really need two of the green, but I did, and I may have one in the freezer. Mama may have an extra, but if not, you know, it's a, it's just whatever you have. If you have one, use one. If you have two, use two. If you don't have any, just skip the green. Go with the red. It's just for color. Uh, if you can only find red, get two reds. Just make it all red. You know, there's, mm -hmm. that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, you can put less or more. It's not going to affect the baking. But most of the time with baking, you have to be just so precise. But when you're adding that, you don't have to be as precise. You could use two of one or whatever you need to use, kitten your mama. And that's what we're up to, folks. So we are so glad you joined us right quick. And I know we've made cornbread a lot on here. We've made biscuit bread. And some of you are like, they didn't make that. But we've got new people on here. And we just want to welcome all of our new people and say Merry Christmas to each and every one of you and each and every one who've been with us since the beginning. And it's hard to believe sometimes how long we've been on here. Mama, we was doing this last year. So we're... Making me feel old, old, old. Why, Mama, you ain't old. You're young. You're young. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to have a good time. This is my favorite part of the holidays is the smells. And I'm going to get some celery ready. And I'm going to get some onions ready. And I'm going to show you again how we do that in the microwave real quick. Like. We'll probably do that either late tomorrow evening or Saturday morning. Or Saturday morning. Probably... Yeah, probably Saturday morning we might start the dressing. Because usually we make it and bake it. We don't keep it over. But we can. You can make it the day before. Um, our dressing is probably isn't as exciting or difficult as some people's dressings. Uh, I see people, they crumble that cornbread and they get it real fine. Or they'll put it in the oven and they bake it and that's good. Um, and they saute onions. And so ours is easy. It's quick. Uh, we don't we don't fuss a lot with it, do we, Mom? I don't fuss with nothing. <laughs> so, if you like that traditional old style uh, sauteing and all that, we don't do that. I'm going to show you our way, which is just a quick, easy, and the taste is fully there. And we've made it that way for years and years. And uh, we've catered it that way. Uh, we've 
made it for lots of people and everybody likes it. So um, hopefully you all will like it too. And if you want to try it, maybe you're into the easier way and that'll be good too. So we're going to let this bake about 20 more minutes. 20, yeah. Mm, and we'll be out with it. And uh, we probably won't show you the finished product of the cornbread and the biscuit pone because that's all it's going to be. It's a pone of cornbread and a pone of biscuit bread. But we will show it to you maybe in the next video we do, which will be the fruit cake, or I might do a cheese ball or something later. We don't really have a, you know, me and Mama, we don't do a lot of rules. We just sort of do it. But we are going to do this couple of cheese balls, and we are going to do uh, this fruit cake, and Mama's going to do some granny fudge. And I can't tell you when we're going to do all that, but in the next two days, <laughs> we're going to be cooking. So we'll be popping on and off a lot. Uh, I may film some and record it and record it and then show y'all later if it's going to take an extra long time. And that, well, you can see the Mama, your sister dropped the set off her ring. <laughs> sure. That was my ring set. <laughs> okay. That's all we got right now, folks. So uh, thank y'all for being on here. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, just, just have a good uh, time and be cooking in something. If you got something you all fix every year and it's like your family knows if it's Christmas, it's going to be on your table, drop a line under there. Maybe a recipe. Show us a picture. We'd like to see. We like to do traditional. We like the stuff we've always done. But we always add a little something different, don't we, Mama? Yeah, I'll try to. Or change it around a little bit or fix so. it. That's how we found the red cinnamon apples. And you can also do red cinnamon pears. If you're not into apples, the pears work too. Uh, and they turn out the same. I will make those a day or so ahead because I like to make those, get them good and hot, and then put them in the refrigerator and let them sit in that cinnamon and that goodness. Mm -hmm. And then you get them out and all you have to do is heat them up and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. They're the best that way at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that way when you, you it gets all the way through the center of the apple or the pear, whatever you're dealing with. And you can use, I know I said I'm going to peel some apples and uh, use them, but you can use canned apples. We do that. Every once in a while, when we're just yeah, doing them, very right. Right, right, but we do. If Mama says very rare, don't let me tell them we do the canned stuff. Okay. Mama's street. Mama, my coffee's cooled down. I can drink it now. Well, we need to get off so they can rest. Mama is in a rush. See, I told you she's strict. She's strict. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you. Bye.